Well, it's hard to move into a nursing home, of course. It can happen in the blink of an eye and can have devastating consequences. Some falls in personal care homes result in injury or death. Falling is the leading cause of injury among older Canadians, accounting for 85% of injury-related hospitalizations and 95% of all hip fractures. So when the number of falls being reported in Manitoba's personal care homes dropped drastically between 2013 and 2016, it seems, on the face of it, like a good thing. The number of unwitnessed falls at personal care homes in Winnipeg has plummeted in the last six years. Until an investigation by CBC News revealed serious falls weren't actually happening less often, the province just changed the way it tracks them. If things are not reported, they can't be investigated. If they're not investigated, we can't learn. And if we don't learn, we can't reasonably change things. So what's behind the big drop? And what's been the fallout of CBC's investigation? Reporter Katie Nicholson was on that story. Katie, this sounds an awful lot like they were just changing the goalposts. That's exactly what they were doing. Back in 2014, that's when you see that huge shift in numbers start. I mean, I don't know if you can see it here, this was like the number of falls that were reported and then boom, just down to three uh, by 2016. What happened is the WRHA and the government decided, oh, we're over-reporting these incidents. And so they changed the criteria a little bit. So the only thing that they wanted to consider to be a critical incident uh, is, uh, the, uh, is if there was an equipment failure or if maybe an aide accidentally uh, dropped a, a resident in sort of uh, moving them from um, a bed to a seat, that sort of thing. Uh, and just to explain what a critical incident is, in 2006, Manitoba started reporting any kind of an adverse outcome or death that occurred to a patient or, or resident in a personal care home, uh, anyone who was getting health services. And so with, what a critical incident does is it, it is essentially an investigation and uh, it, it prompts a, a no-blame investigation where you find the cause of what happened, what caused this adverse outcome. And the idea is to try to figure out how to prevent this sort of thing from happening again. Yeah, open up your notebook for me here. What was it that he said to you one day you know, I really should look into falls at long-term care homes. Uh, funny enough, uh, we were uh, working some stories up to go with the big marketplace expose on, on nursing homes, and we wanted to figure out what was happening right here in Manitoba. So I took a whole bunch of this critical incident uh, reporting because it's open source data, and I just essentially plugged everything that was recorded in a personal care home into a spreadsheet. And as we're sort of looking through, we're seeing that there are so many, there are so few falls reported, and we thought, great, this must mean that we have somehow solved the problem of seniors falling in residence homes. So then we follow up with the regional health authorities. Well, it turns out when we hear from the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority, no, the number of falls has been consistent, about 4,500 a quarter. Uh, and people continue to be injured at a high rate from these falls. And people continue to die from these falls. But they are not being captured, those injuries and those deaths, in the critical incident reporting anymore. And so that means that we aren't going to get the same kind of in-depth investigation into the cause of these things, and, and we're not going to get a, a clearer snapshot as to where resources ought to be put to prevent further falls. I know from your coverage that one of the people you spoke to said this is basically like being an ostrich, putting your head in the sand and ignoring a problem. I'm wondering what other kind of response you got to your story. We did touch base with, uh, with uh, the opposition. They were in power in 2014 when this decision was made to change those goal posts, to move them around. Uh, they looked at the data and they were concerned, actually. Uh, Minister Andrew Swan, who's the health critic, he just said, you know, I think the pendulum has swung too far the other way now. What we need to do is reconsider and maybe, uh, maybe allow more of these incidents uh, to be considered critical incidents. Uh, he has brought it up with the health minister. We have brought it up with the health minister. No promises that anything will be changed, but it certainly is a hot topic of discussion at the legislature now. All right. Katie, thank you. You're welcome.